here, number two. Number two. First thing I need to do again is to get a variable by itself. It can be any variable. We said we were going to take the second equation and we're going to get the x by itself because there is no number in front of the x. So what I'm going to do is move that 20 over here, which is now going to give me 7y plus 20 equals x. There is step number one. I've got a variable by itself. For step number two, I have to use the other equation. I've already used the second one, so now I've got to use the first one. So now I'm going to use 9. Remember, we're going to replace x with the equivalent expression, which in our case is going to be the 7y plus 20. I'm going to go ahead and write down the rest. Plus 11y equals 32. And now we only have one variable, and we're going to solve for that one variable. 9 times 7y. What is 9 times 7y? 63y. 9 times 20. 9 times 20 is 100 and what? 80. Still got the 11y equals 32. Combine those uh, y values. You got 63 and 11. 63 and 11 would make 74. 74y plus 180 equals 32. Subtract 180 from both sides. So 32 minus 180, help me out with the calculators there. 32 minus 180 is negative 148. Negative 148. We're almost there. Now we're going to divide by 74. So a negative 148 divided by 74 turns out to be what? Negative 2. All right. So the y value here is negative 2. We're halfway there. Last thing we need to do is find out what the x is. So we're going to take that negative 2. And we're going to plug it in for one of these y's. The choices are, we can put it anywhere we want, as long as it goes into the y. I think I'll use the second equation. Doesn't make it wrong if you use the first. Okay, let's see what we get here. 7 times 2, or 7 times negative 2 would be a negative 14. Uh, I want to solve for x, so now I'm going to add 20. So a negative 14 plus 20, negative 14 plus 20 would give us a 6. So x equals 6. But again, just make sure you write it as an order pair. And in this case, that order pair would be 6, negative 2. And there it is. So again, this is just a different method to solve a system. We can grab it. We can also use substitution. All right, I want you to try one on your own for me. I want you to try number three. All right, get number three on um, by yourself. Uh, I do want to caution you. Make sure you take into account that, that is a negative sign in front of the Y. Be very careful. That is a negative in front of the Y.
All right, let's see how you did on the first step. Just the first step is what we're looking at right now. Jose, what do you use? The first equation or the second equation? Second equation. And what variable did you get by itself? Okay, use the first equation. What variable did you get by itself? The x or the y? All right, so let's check it out and make sure we did that correctly here. So you took the first equation, got y by itself. So the first thing you did was what? Move the 8x to the other side, which gave us a 90 minus 8x or negative 8x plus 9. It's the same thing, right? Then what? Did you leave it like that or did you do something else? Divided by negative 1, which gave us a negative 90 plus 8x. Or if you have it in reverse, 8x minus 90, again, it's the same thing. All right, so there was the first step. I'm going to write this second step over here. We're going to need some room. Since we've used the first equation, now we've got to come over and use the second equation. So now we're going to use negative 3x plus 7. Of course, we're going to take out y and replace it with negative 90 plus 8x equals 112. And now I need to solve for x. Right. So Anakin, help me out here. First thing we need to use, uh, do is distribute it properly. So what did you get when you multiplied 7 times a negative 9? 9. Negative 6. 630. What about 7 times 8x? Seven times 56x. And, of course, it still equals 112. Uh, got to have that x on that. Now i got to combine the like terms. So a negative 3x plus 56x was what, Adam? 53x minus the 630 equals 112. Then what did you do? 630. We're going to add the 630 to the 112. And what do you get when you add that 630 to the 112? 742. We're almost there. Divide by 53. And what did you get when you divide it by 53? X equals 14. Okay. So that is correct for the X. Of course, we still need to figure out what Y is. That's going to be our final step here. So we're going to take that 14 and we're going to plug it in for one of these X's over here. All right, so Andy, where did you plug it in? First equation or the second equation? First one. Okay, we'll use the first one. So we're going to replace x with a 14. And we're going to solve for y. So what do you get when you multiply 8 times 14 in? 112. And then what did you do? Subtract 112. And what did you get when you subtract 112 from the 90? Negative 20. Two, and finally you do what? Divide by negative 1, which gives us the final answer of positive 22. But first, you didn't leave your answer like that, right? How'd you write it? Um, order pair, 14, 22. Make sure you write it in order pair. X value being 14, Y value.